Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Join today for the Fitchburg Senior Center. It's Jill McCone, Director and Senior Advisor. <laughs> you seem like an senior advisor. Ad <laughs> you know what? That comes with age. I don't know why I like that. I li all right. It's skill. Senior Advisor. It's experience. Senior and experience, it's not senior, senior as advisor. a senior. Hmm. Well, I'm going to stick with this anyways it's, and it's, uh, go with it. Happy New Year to you. Welcome back to the show. Another yeah. year, another... Another year, another... Another year. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of years, um, lot of years. <laughs> but I, I would say that uh, you know, looking back at last year, and every, I mean, really, I think of all the years that you've been on, we've been doing the show. Yeah, you know, I think we started in sixteen, and have you come wow. on here and yeah. and talk about yeah. the things that the senior center has accomplished? Yeah, each year the bar gets a higher. little higher. And it's funny because we all want that, right? We all, but it's sort of <laughs> taken off in right. so many different directions. Was last year the year of the programs? Like, well, so I, many new programs. I do agree. We really, we did a lot of programs and maybe even to the point of too many, you know, you get really excited and people bring you stuff and then you plug it in. Um, there is a point of saturation. We might have gotten there. So we're kind of actually taking a step back and re-looking at that. Um, so definitely, but I also think because of COVID, you know, and, and you were just really itching to get back and feel normal. And so we just loaded it up. We wanted everybody back and, and people came back and that's fantastic. I was going to say that the, the second piece of that is people were there. I people mean, people came back. Pe people they wanted to be ready. back. Right. right. And, and so we wanted to, uh, you know, respond to that. Um, so anyway, it was a good year. Um, in that sense and you know again taking a look making sure that we're not you know that we're we're mindfully adding programs that meet everybody's need and not heavy here and heavy there and so kind of taking some time this year because i love my goals i love looking at the vision for this year and so we're actually doing that right now so and i think the other thing was the patio you know that raised the bar really high and so we'll be lowering that on any new <laughs> facilities or <laughs> space or anything that's not that's not a 2024 goal well, um but that was a too, wonderful it, thing it came in you know came in in late fall so yeah we, we got to enjoy it we i did. mean we did get to enjoy it yeah, a little bit yeah. but really like coming into this this spring like yeah i'm yeah. pumped to be out there quite yeah a bit yeah this yeah year. i think it's going to be a great space so yeah. so between those two things it was a busy year and uh you know i'm super proud of my staff and um you know all the things that that we all kind of contribute to make uh, the center a success. So, yeah. And uh, you're coming out, uh, starting off with a bang again this year with yeah. a lot of great uh, programs, a lot of fun programs uh, mm -hmm. starting. One of the things that uh, you've been focused on the last couple of years is diversity yep, uh, and inclusion so. in, in yeah. the, the center. And you are coming out with uh, celebrating Black History Month mm -hmm. uh, with a great event. Tell us about this event coming up in February. Absolutely. And again, I can't take the credit for this. Um, Janice Hughes, my board member, and I work very closely together, and she has sort of been my guiding light on, on you know, doing more for diversity. So she is so well connected and I'm so appreciative of that. So we were talking about what we wanted to do and um, I had seen this movie last year, documentary, film, whatever you want to call it, and it's fascinating. And um, she knows Dr. Charles Taylor, who uh, is a retired professor from Edgewood, who created um, this, this film. And so anyway, that's what we're going to show. And um, it's just going to be a fun afternoon. We're going to have a movie style upstairs in the O'Call room and pop corn and snacks and um, and then Dr. Taylor will be there for Q&A after. Um, the movie itself is an hour 45, um, and then we'll do the Q&A after. But, but again, just, just a nice step towards the right direction of just let's, you know, we want to encourage people of all color to be a part of the center and make sure that, that what we're offering um, reflects all of those colors. It is, yeah, yeah. and um, <clears throat> you know, I think just getting involved, you know, we've talked about it over the years of getting involved in the senior center, and it can be more. It can right. be more than just seniors. It can be a lot Absolutely. of different things. And Absolutely. And I think what you have for programming, you know, reflects what yeah. you want uh, yeah. the, the center to be. I don't right. want to say center, but the, the, the space to be. The space, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, this is a hard transition, but we're going with it anyways. Uh, page five for those of you <laughs> playing at home. Uh, but have the last word when it comes to uh, writing an obit. Well, and again, this should not be a hard transition because people should not be afraid to be talking 
talking about what happens when I die and what do I want to see happen when I die. We did some classes years ago about writing your own obit. And from that, I approached my parents and had them write their own. And not everybody was open to it, particularly my mom, who was extremely upset um, about me making her write that, <laughs> um, where my dad was really excited because I said, listen, mom, what I put in your obit might not be what you want in there. What's important in your life? You know, I, if I'm going to write it, I'm going to say, well, your only daughter. That was the most important thing in your life. Now, I don't know if that's what you wanted to read. So Still going to sneak uh, it in there anyway. But I'm that's, going to sneak it in there. Point, well, yeah. That's just a given. But um, <laughs> I love the opportunity to offer this to folks. And I love the opportunity to tell folks how important it is. And I said to my parents, this is such a gift to me. As the only daughter of five, I have four brothers. They're not going to do this. And so for me to say, what kind of songs are important? What kind of flowers do you love? Things that you think, well, I probably know that about my parents, but in that stressful situation, you don't. What kind of readings, you know? And so I love this program and I encourage everybody to give that gift to their children. Yeah, and this is gonna be on uh, January 10th at 1 p.m. Uh, yeah. No registration needed for this one, just come on in. No, there's an R, so there is a registration. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice try, mister. You. you know, if you. you show up, we'll take you anyway, but it would be good to let the uh, presenters know how many are coming. All right, another registered program, <laughs> Downsize uh, <laughs> Without the Stress. Uh, uh, we all need it. I am slowly, <laughs> yeah, right. slowly We're just talking about working it, on right? trying to do this. Right. It's not easy. Nope. Dang it. Nope. Why? Because you are emotionally attached to so many uh. things, and, and then it's overwhelming to think about how to downsize and what to get rid of and that kind of stuff. But again, another gift to your family um, is to start that process. Um, of getting rid of things. I remember my mom, she just, again, my, my, my mom, um, she wanted to give me her um, John F. Kennedy plate <laughs> so badly. And, you know, it's just so interesting because, you know, had I not known that was important, you know, you just take all that stuff to goodwill. Now, Mom, I didn't take the plate. I didn't keep the plate. <laughs> but it was really fun to have these discussions. And it also, too, again, it's just, it is a gift to your family because going through your parents' home, even whether they're past or alive, it's a hard thing to do. So start now, section it off a little bit each month, take a room, a closet, whatever. So there you go. You don't even need to come anymore. I just did the whole program. I mean, and <laughs> truly, I lost both of my parents early on mm -hmm. uh, without any, and I would tell you, would, right? would love to had it had had this in place we had something right. like this place for a grandma passing away recently it yeah worked really well right you know but yeah it's hard it, it it's hard, hard to part for me and my ask my wife she's like yeah. he's got too much crap you know you yeah it's it's not easy so this yeah. is a great way of and maybe you need a refresher maybe That's, we need a refresher maybe really this should be an offer through the rec department to younger adults <laughs> like us well, yes, that yes, you know guilty as charged uh, so then we don't accumulate over the years and then leave all that with our children but anyway it's, it's just a good a good reminder that that kind of stuff is is you know it's important and it can be done in a non-stressful way all right jill winter is here although it seems like it's been a slow start and probably I just jinxed know. us right but the winter we weather policy is super important for people to know yeah um because there there are two different uh, to me there are two things yeah, that are in play here it so. can be a little confusing and uh, eventually we will get snow hopefully because i'd like to be out in the snow I do so too. um if the city closes we close you close we all close city doesn't close that often. So the no. real thing you have to pay attention to, if Oregon schools close, for the senior center, automatically the meal program is canceled. So no home delivered, no congregate, no bus service. That is all canceled. Now that doesn't mean programs are canceled because oftentimes things happen in the afternoon, the weather has cleared up. So our policy is call us. Call us, check Facebook, check our website. All the updates will be on there. So people just know the only thing that is automatically canceled is if Oregon schools are closed, the meals are canceled. If, if, if somehow, yes, the city hall closes, but the Oregon school district doesn't because of the snow cut <gasps> Seriously, off. Seriously, Jeremy? Cut off and half of, how would you deal with that? Um, we'll be closed. <laughs> if the city closes, we're closing. And it means no meals either way. It means nothing. It means I'm not even coming to work. Well, I work from home. I was going to say, now we all can work from home, so there is no day off. But yeah, if the city okay. closes, we close no matter what. Um, if the city's open and Oregon schools close, only the meals are canceled. Um, programs might be going on, so just give us a call. Yeah. Uh, finally, uh, navigating care options, assisted living and long-term care <clears throat> planning. 
fits the theme here. After you've done your obit and you're downsizing, you want to come and figure out where you're going to go. What's your next move? So if you're going to downsize to assisted living and you can only have one bedroom, well, that's going to help you downsize the correct way. But even if you're not going to do those other two things, it's really good to know what your options are. Again, oftentimes we see families in a crisis saying, I've got to get my mom out of her house and I don't know where to go pre-talking about this mm -hmm. is a pretty big deal actually because you still deal. can have some independence you still absolutely. can do some things absolutely but i don't think everybody knows the difference even between in, you know this. there's a lot of you know we're starting to see them in fitchburg now yes. with um the independent places just like they're building up um in terra Vesa, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you can add these services so you go in independently you know and also to, you, too you can go into assisted living still have a car still do whatever you want to deal, but you get your meals, you know? So, so there's lots of different options. Obviously price is a big, um, a big factor to consider. And that really oftentimes guides families more so than what they want is what they can afford. Bright Star Senior Care, that's the, I think that's the... So that's a home health agency and a lot of agencies like Bright Star, um, you know, can come into the home and offer some of those, um, kind of services, your ADLs, your activities of daily living, you know, your cooking and your cleaning and that kind of stuff. Um, so that they'll come in and do that. So those are the options to stay in your home, you know, and hire an outside company to come in or go to assisted living. And you want to do a lot of cost comparisons because in the end, you know, there might not be a huge difference and you can choose the one you want. So always good to be armed with information before you have to move. Now you know, folks, F Fitchburg Senior Center, you can get all the answers. From your senior advisor. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have started off that way. I still apologize. So I'm be, teasing. Uh, I'll be uh, apologizing teasing. after the camera I'm turns off. No, no, uh, no, no. I, 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 I earned it. It's a good, well, I earned it. again, they're just, when we talk about all the great stuff that you're doing down there between the programming, yeah. between, uh, it's just a place to go get help, you know, and, yeah. uh, and ask questions and yeah. navigate I, this crazy you world. Know, and, and just, I know I'm taking a lot of time, but I, I had a gentleman come in um, who was on our board years ago, years and years ago, and, and you know didn't need anything at all. And he came in because he needs stuff now, and he said, my friend said, go to the senior center because I want to arm myself with information before this ends up to be a crisis. I was like, oh my gosh, you are the living example of how we all should behave. Get your information before there's a crisis, you know? Um, and it just I mean. made me happy. Well, you, and if you don't know, you gotta ask. You gotta ask. And I can't tell you, I knew nothing about senior centers and I have a complete different, and I tell right. people this all the time, that yeah. unless you go in and see what's happening, you yeah. have no idea what you're missing. Yeah. And it's not about an aging thing, it's about keeping your mind, keeping your Absolutely. keeping yourself going. Yeah. And there's You just hope so many, you're gonna age. Oh, right, And it so let's be just do it thing. as, as right. well as possible, right? Right, right, so, so yeah. yeah, definitely get down there and Hey, I'm gonna schedule you appointment for this week. Come on down. Uh, well, I, I like to come down to visit anyways, uh, so there's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. People do want to get involved, get in touch with you, or uh, just join in on the phone. Oh my How gosh, do do? come in. We love when people come in. That's yes. the best. Face to face. Come on in. Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Um, go online, city website, Facebook. Um, give us a call. We can. We don't. We don't mail these out. We don't have a mailing list. But if you call, we'll pop one in the mail. And then there are. You know, we've got them at lots of locations within Fitchburg, um, at the library, city hall, um, some businesses. So, yeah. All right, Joe, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you again. You and too. Uh, look forward to having you on the show Always all this pleasure. year. All right, thank you, Senior Advisor. <laughs>